Okay. Hi everyone. It's been about a year, I think, since I did a video, but I really felt like the Lord wanted me to come on and do a video again. So here I am. Um, wow. Has it been a year? I mean, who knew that it was going to be like this, this year uh, for 2020, 2021, and now we're at 2022. But, you know, it's funny because, sorry, my, my bracelet's making noise. Um, when we started this out in, you know, 2019, when um, all the sicknesses, sickness started to come, you know, and then we went into 2020 and, you know, the, the prophets and the people were saying, oh, it's going to be 2020. It's going to be a year of vision. It's going to be, you know, God's telling us what to do, what's next. And, and well, they were right. It was a year of vision, but it wasn't a year of a vision like we thought it was. It was, a, it was a year of God opening our eyes to see in 2020 vision, what was happening all around us, what was happening in our governments, what was happening in our nations, what were happening in our capitals, in business, in medical uh, community, in the media, in arts and entertainment, you know, the seven hills of influence, the seven mountains that Johnny Inlow and Lance Wallnow are talking about. I mean, wow, we, we, our eyes have been opened since then in 2020 and beyond of what's really been going on and how close we were to losing our country to losing the nations, to the evil. And we had to come to a place where we saw with our eyes and began to have our eyes opened to what was really going on in the nation and in the United States and beyond. I mean, all the nations, what was happening. And you know, the I remember when it first began, um, a lot of times God would give us um, the scriptures from Esther and Haman, you know, in the book of Esther, and then Gideon in Judges 6 through 8, and then Noah in Genesis 6 through 9, and then about the Red Sea, Exodus uh, 14, 19 through 31, how, you know, God was, uh, Esther, how the, the evil were going to hang on their own gallows like Haman, and um, Gideon, you know, with only the 300. God took down the the enemy, the Midianites, and Noah, how he, you know, gave notice to the earth, and then he flooded it and took down the, the, the evil and started over, and then the Red Sea, how, you know, the slaves of Egypt, the Israelites were, ran into the sea, were ran into the edge, and then Moses lifted up his staff, and they all went on dry ground all night long. And then eventually, you know, he put down his staff and the, the sea covered all of the Egyptians and they saw their enemies no more. So this has been the scriptures, the main scriptures that God has used throughout this whole time since 2019. And then through, of course, um, the election and just everything we've just seen. And it's some of you I know of have just been through a really hard time. Um, and I'm so sorry. I mean, my heart is just, I've been praying for people that have lost businesses, lost family members. Um, you know, their, their jobs have just maybe just gone away. You know, I mean, so much has happened through this time and been devastating to people. And, um, but I just want to say good news is coming right like um uh manuel johnson says these are these are glory days not gloomy days well i agree i agree now for the wicked not so glory but for us who trust in the lord who believe in the lord oh my goodness yes i agree yes and amen if these are glory days coming now um, I'm telling you, the Lord has just put on my heart that it, truth, 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 truth is coming out and truth sets us free. Now it may not be hard, you know, easy to take, but it sets us free. So we need the truth. And that's what this whole thing has been about. The truth, the truth coming forward, the truth coming out so that his people would see that we would see and we would understand. And the people of the earth would wake up to see how close we were 
to the enemy just swallowing us up and becoming more aware of what we, you know, all of, all of, uh, the Lord has given to us to take authority. We have to take authority and we haven't been doing it because unfortunately the church has not taught us, you know, but that's another thing that the Lord is exposing. He, he's exposing so many things at this hour. It is just amazing. You know, um, stuff about, you know, in, in the media, stuff about the jab and the medical just community in at large about um, the election. Okay, that's coming. The election, more and more stuff is coming out about that. And God is going to rectify that. He has to, because we cannot continue to have these uh, false elections. We cannot continue to have that, you know, and he's exposing all the false. He's exposing the untruths, the deceit, the lies, the evil that we've been living under for years and years and years. And God's saying, that's enough. I'm telling you. The Lord has just spoken to me about this is the hour of the Davids taking down the Goliaths. These giants that think they are so big and so powerful and no one can touch them because they've got so much money. Well, guess what? God can touch them and God's going to. He's got all these Davids surround, just scattered around the world. Hallelujah. With these stones of truth ready to fly and they're going to hit the mark. And they're going to take down these giants right between the eyes. And the Lord's going to take them down because enough is enough. And it's time for the Ecclesia, the government of God to arise in the land and take their place. God's taking down these evil thrones. He's taking them down and he's going to replace them by righteous thrones and righteous people who will stand on those thrones and rule and reign and bring the kingdom to the earth. That's what this is about. We need to bring the kingdom to the earth. The Lord, Yeshua, Jesus, destroyed the works of the devil. It's already done. He's destroyed it. And now we, as his people, need to rise up and take our place. We need to rise up and be the sons and daughters of God. And take our place among the nations. Take our place among the seven hills of influence. Media, education, entertainment, arts, um, no, it's arts and entertainment, media, education, economy, business, religion, and family. Yes, those are the seven mountains that affect society. And we need to take them for the glory of the Lord. Because the nations are his inheritance. We need to be in these places. No, the church is not supposed to just stay within the four walls of the church. They're not just evangelists, pastors, teachers, preachers, and pastors. No. We need to be uh, in the media. We need to be in 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 families, you know, in, in in educating our families, you know. I mean, we need to. The family needs to be the first place of education. We need to be teaching our children about God. Remember when he says, "Teach your children when you wake up, when you walk along the way, when you lay down." Yes, we need to be doing that. We need to be the counselors, the family counselors. We need to be the Christian counselors. We need to be in these places of influence for the family. We need to be in, in media. We need to be in arts and entertainment. Getting out some godly uh, music. Getting out godly plays. Godly movies. And you know what? God will give us amazing, amazing revelation on how to do it and what to do. So they won't be boring. You know? We need to be in places of business. The Christians need to own the businesses. Yes, we need to have the. We need to be funneling the money, not the money money owning us. No, the the love of money is the root of all evil. We don't need to love money, but we need to have money because that's how we influence society. That's how we we comfort the poor and 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 clothe them. That's how we get information out. That's how we spread the good news, the gospel of the good news. It's good news. It's not poor. Oh my, my goodness. Look at Joseph. Look at Abraham. I mean, look at Isaac. Look at Jacob. I mean, look at the, look at David. I mean, they weren't poor. They were wealthy. Okay. There's nothing wrong with money as long as we look at money the right way. 
Okay. That's, so we need to just, we need to just stop thinking that we have to be poor and have that poor mentality because we need to take these seven mountains in society. We need to take and disciple nations. We need to take over the nations. That's their, his inheritance. He, he, those, that is his inheritance. And we, as his body, as his bride, as his sons and daughters of God need to take our place and take over the, the, the earth. We need to bring the kingdom to the earth. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And my goodness, we have not done that. And the devil has run roughshod over us. Well, that's enough. Not, not on our watch, right? That's what we're saying. Not on our watch. We don't want this to continue going forward. And beloved, I'm telling you, God's not done with President Trump. He is the rightful president and he will be back in the seat of the presidency of the United States of America. I believe that. And uh, the only reason he wouldn't is if President Trump himself said no. And I don't believe he's going to do that. But Lord knows he surely has the right to the way they've treated him and his family and what has been done to him. It has been an awful shame. But thankfully, he has the heart of David. He's a warrior. Thank goodness for President Trump and his family. Oh my goodness. I just bless them. I bless them. I, we pray for them. My, my prayer team, our prayer team just prays for him. Um, my goodness, friends, uh, Bible studies that I attend, we pray for him. We pray for our nation. I just hope that you're praying for him. I hope that you're praying for our nation. I hope you're lifting up uh, the people of God around you. Don't lose, not losing hope, you know, don't lose hope. God always has a plan of redemption and it's not the end. The, the, the harvest has to come in. The gospel has to go forward. Do you know if the Lord came now that billions would probably go to hell? Billions would not be saved because we have generations that don't even know any of the Bible stories. They're not taught, but they don't know about Noah. They don't know about Moses. I mean, you know, in my age, my age group, you know, I think that I grew up, you know, in the uh, 60s and 70s and 80s. Well, I was born in the 60s, but anyway, <laughs> I grew up in the 70s and 80s. And, you know, I, I knew, I knew all of those stories, of course, because we, we went to the church. But the generations after us, less and less and less. And now the children don't even know anything. The, the teenagers, they don't know anything about the Bible. They don't even know Noah or Moses. I mean, Jonah and the whale. I mean, they don't even know that. That's how bad we've, that's how far we've sl slipped and, and fallen. So I just want to tell you, beloved, get ready because God is about to do a move on the earth that we have never seen before. We are not expecting, we're all going to be, it's, it's shock and awe, shock and awe time. I mean, God is going to move in such an amazing way. We are all going to be shocked and awe. And even those of us who know more than others are going to be shocked because we, we, we still don't know all that there is to know. And I don't know that we all will know all because I think some of it, maybe God is going to keep so, cause it would just, wow, it would probably just devastate us <laughs> cause it's going to already be devastating, but, um, whatever God wants us to know, he'll, he'll reveal to us and it'll be necessary for us to know that. And, um, we just have to get ready church. And I wanted to, um, talk to you about, um, these evil thrones, which I already did and want Lance Wall now. And, um, uh, what else was I going to tell you? Yeah, well, I guess that's it. Um, I just wanted to encourage you and to let you know, God is on our side and oh my goodness, are we going to see him move? Like we, the mighty hand of the Lord is going to move on our behalf. Thank goodness for his mercy and his grace. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, so much for what you're doing in this hour and for what you're doing in this time. Get your people ready, Father. Don't let them lose hope. Don't let them give up. I pray bless each one of them. Bless their families. Bless their businesses. 
I pray, Lord, that you would just bless their dreams, Lord, of what they want to do. Yes, Lord, those who who have dreamt of of being in arts and entertainment and, and you know, their family is like saying no, no, no because of what it's become. But you know what? Yes, go for it. Make Take the mountain of, of arts and entertainment and turn it for God's glory. I mean, we need to get ready, church. We need to have a mind of the mind of Christ. We have a, need to have a transformed mind, and and be ready to take the mountains. We need. This is the hour where we are building the heavenly Jerusalem upon the earth. You know, everything comes in the spirit first. You know, Yeshua it said he was slain before the foundations of the earth. That was done in the spirit first, and then he came to the earth. You know, things happen in the spirit and then they happen in the natural. Well, you know, in the revelation, it says the heavenly Jerusalem will come down and it will be upon the earth. Well, this is the hour and the time we are doing the spiritual. We're bringing the spiritual kingdom, heavenly Jerusalem to the earth, because then it will be the actual natural. Okay. So we're, we're setting a precedence in this hour. We are preparing the way for the Lord. We are building the heavenly Jerusalem now upon the earth. We are bringing the kingdom government to the earth. We are getting ready for the real Jerusalem, the real heavenly Jerusalem to come down. This is, this is a dress rehearsal, people. This is what God's saying. He's going to unite us like never before. We're going to be united. We're going to see signs, wonders, and miracles. We're going to, I mean, we're going to do amazing wonders by his power and by his name. Hallelujah. So get ready because we are preparing. We we are building the heavenly Jerusalem. This is the town. This is Nehemiah. Okay. We've got the sword in one hand and the hammer in the other. Do you know you and I are stones? We're stones. Yes. Yeshua was a stone. And we're living stones being built up into the heavenly Jerusalem. And you know what? You, every time you go to someone and you, 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 they, they turn their life over to Messiah Yeshua, they get, a, we, we're adding another stone to the heavenly Jerusalem. And then we are going to, we need to have that sword so we can fight off the enemy, those sand ballots and all those ones that, that, that come against us that want to kill, steal, and destroy. But you know what? We keep building, building the Jerusalem, the heavenly Jerusalem, and we keep fighting the enemy and we build and we fight and we build and we fight and we don't give up and we keep moving forward. And one day that heavenly Jerusalem will be built. And then God will say, okay, Yeshua, my son, it's time. The last stone has been laid. Woo! Whoa. The last stone has been laid. It's time to go and get your bride. And then we're going to see him come. Then. Hallelujah. So get ready, church. Get ready, Ecclesia. Get ready to take your mountain. Get ready. Because we are building the heavenly Jerusalem in the spirit now. To prepare the way for the real to come. When it is fully manifested when God creates a new heaven and a new earth and brings down the heavenly Jerusalem. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you and bless you. Yes, it's been hard. And I know we're going to, it's not going to be easy what we're going to see ahead of us. But those who trust in the Lord, oh my goodness, they're going to mount up like, with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Trust in the Lord your God. And you will do great exploits. <laughs> oh, it's true, beloved. Get ready. Because this is going to be amazing. Okay? I love you. Stand strong and courageous. Be bold and courageous, like you told Joshua. With a hammer in one hand and a sword in the other. Woo! It's going to be great. Blessings. <laughs>